Hi everyone, this is Lily and I'm going to do a review of some of the products that I got from my recent Costco Korean Beauty Haul. These products are still on sale at Costco through the end of this month, so I hope this review helps and let's go ahead and get started. So the first set of products that I'm going to talk about was the DGM Reiki Gold Premium Hair Care Set. It came with two bottles of this shampoo and then one bottle of this conditioner. So I tried everything out last night and I was really pleasantly surprised and happy with how the products worked. So the first one was this uh, premium shampoo. It has Korean ginseng and green tea and then it also has like fruit and flower uh, extracts in it. So I would say that the consistency of it is kind of like, looks like a honey, um, but it's not like sticky or anything. And a little bit goes a long way, I would say. Uh, for my hair, I think I only had to use like two pumps. I might even be able to just do one next time. Um, the smell is a little bit on the strong side, especially with the ginseng in it. I noticed that smell right away. So if that bothers you, I would suggest maybe mixing a little bit of your regular everyday shampoo with it, even though, you know, I know it's not what they recommend and maybe it doesn't have the same effect as using it on its own, but you know, that could be a workaround if the smell is an issue. Um, but overall, I felt like it was good because it didn't dry out my hair. It felt like I was really nourishing it and treating it. I felt like I was doing something good for it. And I hadn't even gotten into the conditioner yet, but I already felt like my hair was healthy. Like I could just feel that it was doing something almost like a salon kind of treatment. Like maybe the salon quality shampoos that they would use at like my Asian hair salon. So I like that. And they do give you a lot in here, so that's great. And then moved on to the conditioner. So this also has the uh, Korean ginseng um, in it. And I thought the conditioner was great. Again, a little bit went a long way for me. So I only probably need to use two, two to three pumps of this. And I didn't feel like it was coating my hair with anything really heavy. Because I know with my other conditioners, sometimes the non-Asian ones, tend to leave kind of like this coating on my hair and it makes it harder to dry. I didn't feel that way at all with this. It's very lightweight. In fact, um, I feel like now that it's dry, I could just tell that it's so soft and lightweight compared to my usual um, conditioning treatments. So that's definitely a plus. Um, the consistency was very velvety really liked it. It does kind of have that strong scent to it a little bit, so it's probably the ginseng again. Um, if that bothers you, I would also recommend mixing this a little bit with your other regular conditioner, but overall I'm really happy with it and I thought it was a great deal. Okay, the next product that I'm going to talk about is that case full of soul uh, best of Korean scare, uh, skin care kit that I got. I'm going to talk about the nighttime skin routine that I tried out that they recommended. So in the booklet, they have a whole beauty plan um, of what to do for each time of day. So the first step in the nighttime routine was the cleanser. This is the rice foaming cleanser. I used it in the shower as my regular face wash. And it was very nice. Um, it has a micro ground rice powder. So I liked the smell of it personally. It was really refreshing and felt kind of like special. Um, the texture of it was not too abrasive or harsh, even though it does have that exfoliating effect um, as part of it. For me though, since I don't like to exfoliate my face every day, I, I'm more of a person that does it like one or two times a week if I even remember, because um, I just don't want to be too harsh on my skin. I probably won't use it every single day, but I will definitely use it again 
and incorporate it into my routine. I think it's a really good quality product and it a little went a long way as well. It foamed up really nicely um, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of this other Korean exfoliator that I use called Nisha. Um, it's almost as if I mix that with like my other basic Cetaphil face wash. It like combine those two and you get this but with a nicer smell. So I enjoyed that. Um, the next step that you're supposed to do immediately after is to apply the toner. So once I came out of the shower I put this on a cotton ball and I just rubbed it all over my face to remove any of the residue that didn't come off with the face wash and it also improves the pH balance of your skin. So that felt very refreshing, didn't leave behind any kind of film or anything and I could see on the cotton ball that there was still like some like trace of like dirt or whatever. So that was good to do. I enjoyed that. I don't usually use this type of thing at night, so I think I could get used to that. Um, the next step in the routine is the essence. So this is the True Rose Repair Essence. You pump it out and it comes out like kind of like a gel. Um, and then you just pat it in to your face. Um, it felt fine. I didn't feel like it was heavy or anything, and I and I like that rose kind of floral scent. I have another uh, spray that I've always used that has that kind of scent, so it didn't bother me. It seemed okay. Um, the point of the essence, according to the kit, um, is to deliver instant thirst-quenching hydration and nutrients to your cleansed and toned skin. The next step was the serum which comes in this spray bottle. And at the time when I used it, I didn't realize that you could just spritz it directly on your face. It wasn't really clear to me about that. So I ended up spraying it on my hand first and then I realized, okay, I should have just sprayed it on my face. Um, it's refreshing. Um, it says it contains a higher concentration of active ingredients that will penetrate the skin on a deeper level and truly bring out a healthier glow um, and a small amount goes a long way. So literally one spray should be just fine and then tap it in. The next step is the eye cream, which looks like this. So it's an interesting applicator. It's almost like a marker or a pen. It has like that tip, that fat tip, and then there's like a hole in the middle, which you probably can't even really see here, but basically you pump it from the bottom and then you'll see it come out through that hole. Um, a little bit goes a long way, I would say, with any eye cream. This was kind of like a gel. It was clear. And it wasn't very wet. So I like that about it because I don't usually use an eye cream, even though I probably should. Um, I'm always afraid of either irritating my eyes or I have like some milia on my eyelids and I don't want to aggravate that and put too many like oily type things on it. So this didn't feel like it was irritating me in any way or adding too much stuff around my eyes, so I was okay with that. Um, I may not use this every day though because in the morning when I woke up, I still felt like I could feel it around my eyes and I don't really like that feeling. So I'll pick and choose when I'm gonna use this, but overall I think it's a good quality product um, and it's good as an eye cream. So there's that. The next step is the moisturizer. So it looks like this. And this to me, okay, so they said that the point of the moisturizer is to create a barrier to prevent all the nutrients that we previously applied from drying out. Um, and it helps you absorb everything that you just put on. So it says to apply a generous amount to the face and neck. For me, if I had done all those steps leading up to this and then had this too, which I did, I thought it was too much. And that could just be my own personal preference, but I'm not used to putting so much stuff on my face, especially at night. Um, and I will say that when I woke up this morning, I still felt like everything was still there. And I don't like that feeling. Um, so for me, I would probably just use this on its own as the night cream or moisturizer 
and not do the other steps. Or if I am going to do the other steps one night, then I probably won't follow up with this, even though they recommend it. But that's just me. Another reason I'm kind of skeptical about it is that I did get a small breakout right there next to my nose. Um, and I don't know if it's because of any of this stuff, but I'm assuming it is because this is all new to my skin. So I would say that I probably won't overall do this routine every night just because I think it takes some getting used to, yes, but it might be too much just for my skin to be doing all this. I might pick and choose elements of it that I want to do depending on how I'm feeling or how much time I have. Um, but in general, this did seem like a good quality um, moisturizer, but it's very, very heavy in my opinion. This was the heaviest product out of all the ones that I put on from that uh, routine. And then there was also one more step <laughs> after that, which I also did. This was the face oil. And this was the one that kind of spilled in the packaging while it was shipping, so I didn't like that. But um, what it says is that you should apply a small amount of face oil after the moisturizer or mix the two together to get um, intensive hydration that sinks deep into the skin. So I, it comes with this dropper. I only used one drop because I'm really scared to put too much on my face. It was okay. I'm not Again, I'm not used to this, so I don't really know how it's supposed to feel, but it's supposed to give you vitamins um, for your skin. But again, this could be something that might have caused me to break out, so I'm not sure about it. Um, but overall, that's my review of the evening routine. It was so much fun to try out all those products and I'm definitely going to consider which ones I want to incorporate into my evening routine. It all felt like I was treating myself, which I love. So I'm very satisfied with this purchase and I'll continue to update you guys um, on how the other routines are, like the morning routine, the makeup routine, and the special weekend routine. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.